What's up, everyone? I'm Devin Howard. The NBA trade deadline is right around the corner, and everyone's talking about what's going to happen with Lonzo Ball, Anthony Davis, and the Pelicans and the Lakers. Let's get into the latest updates, but first, click that subscribe button and make sure you follow me on Instagram at Devin Howard. So last we heard, the Lakers offered to trade Lonzo Ball, plus six other players, and a first-round pick for AD. But the Pels thought that the Lakers were cheaping out with that offer, and they reportedly are countering by asking for two first-round picks, plus three more players. We're still hearing that Pelicans general manager Dell Demps is being incredibly stubborn about trading Davis to Los Angeles, but the Lakers are dead set on getting AD out west, which means that, unfortunately, I don't think any of Lonzo's desires will be heard. Last week, I filled you in on how he's hoping to be traded to a third team instead of New Orleans, and even though I personally don't think he has a right to make his wishes known, you can't blame the guy for just putting it out there. And it's a trait he obviously learned from his dad, because the elder ball is doing the exact same thing. LeVar Ball talked to ESPN about his son's future and said, we want to be in LA, but if he's traded, I don't want Lonzo in New Orleans. Phoenix is the best fit for him, and I am going to speak it into existence. Well, that's some serious spiritual manifestation stuff going on right there. I'm undefeated, never lost. Hope it works out in the best way for them. It did when LeVar spoke Lonzo on the Lakers into existence, so maybe he's onto something. But also, let's be real, LeVar's just just always freaking talking. We gonna get a billion dollars. Trust and believe that. And while we're on the subject of LeVar, he spoke out about his youngest son too, and how people shouldn't bother showing up to the Spire Institute's game against Louisville High School because LaMelo won't be taking the court due to a broken finger. The Ball family won't be attending the game at all as the injury will keep him out of any plays. The youngest basketball star is fresh off scoring 36 and 31 points respectively in Spire's wins at the Graves Grind session this past weekend. All right, but now back to the trade talks because I know that's why you all really tuned in today. Really? Yep. I do see where LeVar is coming from with his wishes for Lonzo to end up in Phoenix. Right now, the Suns have Devin Booker as point guard, and honestly, the results haven't exactly been stellar. If Lonzo makes his way out to Arizona, he'd most likely be starting the job on day one, which isn't necessarily the case in New Orleans, where Drew Holiday holds down the first. As of right now, it's pretty unclear what it would take to get Ball to Phoenix. There is a chance the Lakers could persuade the Suns into a three-team trade to boost its offer for Davis, but LeVar is influence in the NBA could lend itself to a deal that also includes a happy ball family. Right now, everything is so up in the air, but something we do have a solid grip on is how hilarious Twitter thinks LeVar's requests are. One person tweeted, It's amazing how crazy LeVar Big Baller has little awareness of the league around him. He's a mess. Another just said it bluntly with this meme of Ross from Friends saying, Get a load of this guy. But there are some people who agree with the basketball dad. NBA Overtime Podcast tweeted, Papa Ball is crazy, but he's right about Phoenix. But here's the kicker. None of this will happen if the Pelicans don't agree to a trade for Davis, and they've been making it pretty difficult. According to ESPN, New Orleans really doesn't want to do a deal with LA, even with all the players they keep adding to it. In fact, the Lakers aren't even sure that they can come close to completing a trade for Davis before the deadline, which is in two days, you guys. Two days. They really like to push it to the bitter end, don't they? ESPN says that the conversations between the Lakers and the Pels have been incredibly one-sided, leading them to become increasingly pessimistic about the Pelicans' willingness to do a deal with them. At this point, the Lakers have offered as much as they can, and it's possible the Pels are waiting until the last minute just to see if they boost that offer. But if the deal doesn't go through, I guess you have to applaud them for their commitment, although I was hoping to see AD in some purple and yellow. All right, everyone, I've got to know your thoughts. Is LeVar insane for thinking Lonzo can go to the Suns? Will the Pelicans make a deal with the Lakers before Thursday? Fill me in on your thoughts in the comments, and to stay up to date with me, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Devin Howard.